So how does the Iron Dome operate and where all does it operate? Also, is the Iron Dome enough for Israel's defense? And did it fail this Saturday when the Hamas launched its offensive? Now the Iron Dome, the Iron Dome in itself is a remarkable air defense system, ladies and gentlemen, developed indigenously by Israel. It's widely regarded as uh, one of the most sophisticated air defense systems in the world. It's been designed to respond to short-range rockets, primarily from Gaza and South Lebanon, providing protection against these threats. The Israel Defense Forces, the IDF, claim an impressive success rate of 85 to 90 percent, intercepting the majority of incoming threats. The Iron Dome comprises several key components, including launchers, interceptors, ground-based multi-mission radars, and a control system. The radar tracks incoming fire and intercepts it with the rockets. Now, Israel has strategically deployed 10 Iron Dome batteries, ladies and gentlemen, 10 Iron Dome batteries across the country to defend against short-range rocket attacks. The system targets rockets within, within a range of 4 to 70 kilometers. Now, each Iron Dome battery, and there are 10 of those placed around the country, each Iron Dome battery costs approximately $157 million, while each interceptor costs around $50,000. Each battery can defend an area of up to 155 square kilometers. But even as we talk about the Iron Dome, let's explore the broader missile defense theater at Israel's disposal. Now, Israel's missile defense system theater has three parts, ladies and gentlemen. What you're taking a look at is the Iron Dome, how the Iron Dome intercepts. These are air defense, air defense systems. Apart from the Iron Dome, Israel has additional layers of missile defense. First one is the Iron Dome, of course. You've got the Iron Dome. Uh, the Iron Dome system works within a range of 4 to 70 kilometers for short-range attacks. Then you have the middle layer, which is the David's Sling. The David's Sling system is designed to target missiles with a range of up to 250 kilometers. So this is the middle range. And then finally, you have the long-range Arrow 3 system. The Arrow 3 system can inter intercept attacks within a staggering range of up to 2,400 kilometers. So this is for your all long-range missiles. Long-range missiles, intercontinental ballistic missiles, it is supposed to intercept all of that. But, but, the bigger question, did the Iron Dome, and even as we're looking at these visuals of the Iron Dome in action in the night time, as Hamas launches its rockets, the Iron Dome intercepts, did the Iron Dome face a challenge recently? Well, indeed, despite its high success rate, there were moments of a vulnerability. And finally, did the Iron Dome fail? Hamas rockets managed to hit some targets in Israel. Despite its success rate, Hamas rockets did manage to make landfall, exposing a momentary weakness. Now, during a particularly intense barrage, the Iron Dome became overwhelmed as Hamas fired around 5,000 rockets within a span of 20 minutes. However, despite this barrage, the damage in Israel remained limited. This raises intriguing questions about the capabilities and limitations of this renowned defense system.